Welcome back for the fourth and final chapter in our show, and in my humble opinion, the Headline Act. We stand here with the all new 2021 Bronco, brought back to life on its 55th anniversary this past August. To get the lowdown on this beautiful beast, please welcome Jeff from the Bronco team. Hi Jeff, welcome to our SEMA show special. How's it going? It is going great, Kelly. I am really excited to be here. So Jeff, I hear you're gonna tell us more about one of the things that makes Bronco so special. That's right, Kelly. I'm gonna talk about something that sets this vehicle apart. It's mind-blowing modularity. Okay, Jeff, why don't you explain to our viewers at home what you mean when you say modularity? Sure thing, Kelly. This vehicle was designed to be modular. That means that all of these parts around me can be easily removed, replaced, or swapped out. It is the ultimate invitation to the customization community whether you're a seasoned pro or you're just getting started. Let's rewind back and dig into some of the basics, removing the doors and the roof. This is a hallmark of the 1966 model and wouldn't be a Bronco without it. Not only do these come off easily, but the front panels can also be stored in the trunk. We wanted owners to be able to make the decision out on the road, no matter what the weather throws at them but it goes way beyond the doors and the roof. Bronco has been designed to give drivers total control over their vehicle's components. Now let's dig a little deeper. We designed Bronco to be modular in three major areas, the front, the front fenders, and the rear quarters. On the front, the grill architecture is pretty unique. You can wake up one Saturday morning and decide you wanna give your Bronco a new face and you can change it from one design to the next by yourself with hand tools. You also have total control over what you want out of the modularity. You could attach a new grill to increase airflow and better cool the engine, or you could just pick a new one because you like the way it looks. Either way, you can make modularity your own. And with the modular front bumper, you can take the end caps on and off to provide more off-road clearance. The front fenders and the fender flares are two separate pieces, so they can be individually customized. And it's quick to remove the flares. Whether you're prepping for a trail crawl and adventure, or you just wanna change the look of your vehicle, the side steps and rock sliders are easy to remove and changing between them is simple. They use the same attachment strategy. If you have side steps, but need the rock sliders for an off-road adventure, it is a piece of cake to swap. In the rear, quarter panels can be replaced with different ones that have wider wheel arches. You see, it doesn't really matter if the front fenders are modular, but if you can't change the wheel arch shape in the rear, you just have a funky looking ride. And it's a snap to do. Ours are bolt-on. The competition is a re-weld. Other vehicles require a plasma torch and a welder. This can be done with a hand wrench. All right, we've taken a look at the possibilities. Let's take it even a step further and see how far we can push the brand new Bronco. Jeff, why don't you tell the people at home what's the story here? By all means. Bronco's modularity means your customization options are almost limitless. There is a full line of factory-backed accessories for more off-road capability, personalization, and style. The tube doors are maybe the most exciting accessory. The four-door kit allows you to get the most out of your off-road adventures with an open-air experience. The removable fender flare kit gives you more options to suit your needs. Fender flares are available in three styles. Havoc, with the more aggressive styling, as well as extend a fender and a pocket style. The fender flares are removable, and it isn't just for style. You can pop them off on the fly so you can navigate tighter trails. Now let's take a look at the shoes on this horse. We can swap these out with larger tires and beadlock capable wheels. You can go from a 16 inch to an 18 inch wheel. And this is amazing, from a 255 millimeter wide tire to a 315 millimeter wide tire. So it doesn't take much to go from a base Bronco to a badass off-road desert runner. If you need an extra hand, the winch is there to get you out of a pinch. It attaches to the modular front bumper with a winch mounting kit. When it comes to the bumper, wherever you see bolts, you can customize. I'm talking safari bar, dune flags, additional shields, lights, GoPros, and so much more. 
Imagination, welcome. You can also light up your Bronco with the mirror-mounted off-road light kit or cube lights. This is like being a kid in a candy store. Thanks, Jeff. It's awesome to see the potential for Bronco customers here in the studio. But the Bronco team wanted to prove it for real, to show how easy this could be done. So they took the Bronco into the shop last weekend for a couple of hours and went to work. Folks, it's time for the final project build of the night. Let's take a look. <laughs> 